Hello everyone, I'm Hyungsuk Kim. I'm a PhD student at Purdue University. Today, I would like to talk about my forging work, PG First. We have developed PG First to discover logic bugs for robotic vehicles. I would like to briefly introduce workflow of robotic vehicles. Robotic vehicles are operated in two different space, physical and cyberspace. Physical space shows the always physical state, such as the vehicle's altitude and speed. On the other hand, the cyberspace is for changing the physical state to target state. For example, let's assume that the RV's current altitude is 20 meters, but user wanted to decrease the altitude by 10 meters. In that case, first the RV control program measured the physical state by measuring sensor data. Second, the control algorithm decided command to actuators such as decreasing motor speed to lower altitude. Third, the decreased motor speed is actually lowering the vehicle's current altitude. These three steps show how robotic vehicles operate. Plus, three types of inputs can affect the RV's physical state. First, user commands such as turning left or turning right. Second, environment factors such as temperature or air pressure. Third, configuration parameters for control algorithm. Let's consider simple logic bug in cyber physical systems. For example, fail safe mode must be triggered when the engine temperature is higher than 100 Celsius degree. However, let's assume developers forget to convert Fahrenheit to Celsius scale. In that case, the CPS triggered the failsafe even though the current temperature is only 37 Celsius degrees. So how can you find such a design flow in software? Many researchers suggest the uh, forgers such as AFL, leaf forger, and so on. So can these forgers find such a simple design flow? Unfortunately, the answer is no. Even though the forgers trigger the bulb, their memory corruption-based bug oracle cannot detect the bug. On the other hand, many researchers recently developed a forging works for robotic vehicles. For example, RV forger and CPI works can detect bugs when the bugs lead to unstable attitude, such as unstable roll PGR angles. Then, can these forgers specialize for RVs discover such a design flow? Unfortunately, the answer is still no. This is because the temperature scale issue does not directly relate to, to the RV's attitude. Mm -hmm. To summarize problems of previous works, first, they could not detect the bugs because they do not know the RV's correct behaviors. Second, it is highly unlikely to trigger the bugs because previous works do not consider entire input space. To tackle these problems, we suggest a new forger. The name is PG First. First, we define RV's correct behaviors as formulas. Second, we narrow huge forging space via static and dynamic analysis. Third, we build our own distance matrix to efficiently mutate the input. Lastly, we mutate the input to trigger box by using reduced input space and guidance from distance matrix. So from now on, I'm going to explain each component of PG first step by step. The first step is defining the RV's correct behaviors as formulas. We extracted the RV's correct behaviors from documentation and comments in source code. For example, a documentation state free condition to release a parachute. So, control software must disallow deploying a parachute under the following two conditions. We can convert the natural language to metric temporal logic MTL formula. So, for example, this symbol means never happen. First, while the parachute is released, if fly mode is flip or acro, it means that the RV violate this policy. Second, while the parachute is also released if the altitude at time t is increased than altitude at time t minus 1 
it also means that RV violate the parachute policy. Next, we need to mutate input to trigger box. However, a control program normally has huge forging space. For example, a control program has more than 1,000 configuration parameters. In order to increase the efficiency of forging, we need to reduce huge forging input space. To do that, we suggest only mutating input related to the policy. So let me explain details. Each policy consists of terms, also known as RV's physical state. If we only mutated input related to the terms, we can get rid of so many input unrelated to the policy. So to do that, we first need to decompose the MTL formula into terms. For example, we can extract the parachute term from the first proposition, fly mode from second proposition, and from last proposition, we can extract altitude term. The next step is that we need to know which inputs must be mutated to test the identified term. So in order to map a configuration parameter to each term, we conduct static analysis. For example, this temp configuration parameter to set temperature for a barometer sensor. And we first follow the data flow of parameter value then we match the variable name to states in a list of states. So in this example, as you see, the temp configuration parameter is used to calculate the RV's altitude. It means that if a policy includes an altitude term, we will mutate this temp configuration parameter to test the policy. But there are other two different types of input, environment vectors, and user command. So how can you map wind effect to the RV's physical state from source code? The answer is that we can use high fidelity RV simulator. For example, let's assume that we want to know which states are affected by motor's speed. First, we change motor speed on our RV simulator. Second, we measure changed state. Third, we change the current fly mode to another mode because RV differently behave according to each fly mode. So we repeat this step two and three to test motor speed on all fly mode. So as a result, we can notice that changed motor speed affect the RV's heading angle, altitude, throttle, and climb angle. So next step is that we need to build our own distance matrix. So there are two types of distance, propositional and global distance. First, propositional distance is for mutating inputs. This distance represents how close the RV's current state is to a policy violation. If proposition is satisfied, we assign a positive value. For example, the RV's current state or uh, releasing the parachute in that case we assign a positive value one on the other hand if proposition is not satisfied we assign a negative value for example the rv's current fly mode is not flip or acro mode in that case we assign a negative value such as minus one however this altitude is a numeric value unlike parachute and fly mode. So if term is numeric, we build a propositional distance using normalized difference. Next, we need to build a global distance by merging all propositional distance. So this global distance is for detecting a policy violation. If the RV current state do not violate any policy, the global distance will return a positive value. On the other hand, when the current state violate a policy, this distance will return negative value. So from now on, I would like to explain a working example of PG first. These green color columns represent the RV's current 
states such as whether the parachute is deployed or not and altitude. This yellow color column shows calculated propositional and global distance from the RV's current state. When time t is 1, the global distance shows the positive value 1 because parachute is not deployed so far. PG first randomly select an input and assign a random value to the selected input for next time uh, t2. For example, let's assume that PG first increased motor speed. So RV shows increased uh, altitude because we increased motor speed. First, we log a pair of input and value because this uh, input pair increased propositional distance P3. Second, PG first also randomly choose an input for next time T3. Let's assume that motor speed input is reselected. Next, PG first reuse the input and value pair, motor speed and 1800, because this input set increased proportional distance before. So as you see, so in order to make this global distance a negative value, our mutation engine keeps increasing this propositional distance. When time t is 3, let's assume that PG first wanted to deploy the parachute as next input. When time t is 4, we release the parachute. However, the global distance returns a negative value. In other words, it shows the RV current status violate the parachute policy. This is because we keep increased the motor speed and altitude. As a result, the parachute was deployed while the vehicle was increasing its altitude. However, this is a policy violation. So we deployed PG first on three popular RV control software, Autopilot, PX4, and Paparazzi. We extracted total 56 policies. We learned PG first for 48 hours per each control software. As a result, we found total 156 previously unknown bugs. So I would like to introduce one case study. PX4 documentation states that if time exceeds this configuration parameter value second after GPS loss is detected, the GPS failsafe must be triggered. This video shows how vehicle react when the vehicle lose GPS signal under normal situation. So upper part of window shows a user command prompt. User can send user command on this prompt. The below part of window shows a ground control system. User can see the RV's current state such as location and a flight path. So when we block GPS signal on the simulator, the vehicle detects the GPS signal loss and trigger the GPS failsafe. However, PG first found that PX4 failed to trigger the GPS failsafe under some different configuration setting. First, we assign a negative value to the failsafe delay configuration parameter. Second, we also block GPS signals on the simulator. However, the vehicle keeps floating in the air and does not trigger GPS failsafe. When we return on GPS signals on the simulator, as you see, the vehicle shows a deviated flight path. This failing to trigger GPS failsafe will be dangerous behavior because it is likely to cause physical crash to buildings or any other object. So we introduce a novel forging method PG first to discover logic bugs in robotic papers. First, in order to detect the bugs, PG first leverage policies denoted by MTL formulas. Second, PG first use propositional and global distance to efficiently mutate input. Third, PG first found total 156 previously unknown bugs. After we reported the found bug cases, Developers acknowledge total 106 bug cases. Also, developers already patched 9 bug cases. So, this is end of my presentation. Please feel free to ask any question. Thank you.